Maybe I should just, like, ha you know, restart it because... Oh, no, I'm touching my beard. No, I think it was my hair that my, my aunt was bug bugging me about. Okay. No ums, no hums, no touching in the nose, no hair. Uh, oh, <laughs> crap, I did that, did I? Um, so today was pretty cool. Uh, I'll start off with what happened right after the last video. Went to breakfast. It, the line for breakfast was insane. It pretty much almost went from the restaurant to where the elevators were at. And I waited probably close to 15 minutes to get my uh, breakfast, which was fine because with my voucher, you know, it's it's free. I, although I do tip, you know, uh, first day I found out like how much relatively it would cost and they're like, it's 10 bucks. So since I want to pay 20%, I and I didn't have cash on me yesterday, I actually had it charged to my room. And I had signed up 20%, all that. Uh, and then today, since I did have cash, I left two bucks for the waitress that waited on me today. Because, you know, I was brought up, you know, with people who have worked in the hospitality industry and currently both my mom and my brother are in those industries although it's kind of interesting because I'm I mentioned that t when I had dinner last night because there seemed to be some friction between the front of the house and the back of the house yes last night which I didn't mention because I just thought it wasn't important but you know I, I mentioned that yeah my my brother and my mom are in the you know restaurant biz and I was like and of course my brother works in the back of the house and my mom works in front of the house so <laughs> so I was like that I, I was like that's kind of a funny thing oh man my mom is like everybody's gonna be like your tie is so crooked and it although the most crooked it was when I in my the Polaroid I got that was signed that where I'm with Ernie Hudson that's right I got a picture with Ernie Hudson I shouldn't be that boastful. I I was freaking like, you know, okay, just quiet, 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 which which I was for that. And I didn't, like, approach him yesterday because I was just like, freaking Winston Zedmore, you know. And I, and I was like, I don't want to, like, come off, like, some sort of, like, you know, you know, it, it, you know what I mean. Like, one of those, like, oh, you know. So I just was like, um... And I didn't ask him about airheads, which I had I had initially wanted to ask him about what it was like working with Michael is it Lehman or Lemon or it's the guy who the guy who directed Airheads and Heather's I can't remember his last how his last name is pronounced but it's like L E H M A I think then N N I could be misremembering I don't know but I wanted to know what it was like working under him and. I just felt, when I actually got to get my Polaroid, I was like, I'm not going to ask him this shit, you know. Man, oh, I, oh, I said, you know, I said, you know, that, well, happened. Um, uh, but, yeah, I didn't want to ask him. Um, I was also, t although, and I was also tempted to bring up, you know, the substitute, because my buddy, Josh Scott, Joshua Scott, Josh the Bond Scott, I, I call him that behind his back, which, you know, I think he probably would think is awesome. And all at the same time, you know, feels unworthy. Because I know I actually suggested, as he's in the movie, PMS Cop, that I'm in, and he's in it, and I actually suggested, I said, you can get whatever credit you want, and I said, why don't you go as, like, Joshua, the Bond, like, in quotes, the Bond Scott, you know, as a reference to Bond Scott, who used, who is uh, the second lead singer for ACDC, and it, who is, like, the lead singer, wait a second, 
I'm looking for, because cause I ordered pizza, so I'm like looking through the window seeing if somebody's going to pull up and they go, you know. Um, man, I got pretty off track there. Um, so, I mean, that was really cool, but then when Ernie was leaving, because he had to leave, um, he's going to have to leave tomorrow morning, so he gets to uh, either film or television shoot uh, early Monday morning. So, um, although I don't know if usually the, what, the media talent or what, whatever they call the person is like the, you know, that person that's like the television and film person that's like the high, you know, one of the highest people when it comes to the, the guests and, no, that, that doesn't have a, well, yeah, I'm going to keep doing that, I don't, uh, I don't know if they normally stay longer because last year when I was at Vision Con, I was only on I was only at Saturday and I was really only focused on hawking my book and um, so I I really don't know what what the case was but man I was just like you know the like three or four year old version of myself I was like you know which when back to again when he was leaving I was like. Yeah, it was great talking to you, and it's amazing, and then, like, I almost, like, went, like, and, like, this is, you know, the five-year-old kid, uh, that was me back then, wouldn't have, blah, 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 and I was, like, and, and, like, I started going, and I was, like, because he was trying to talk to somebody else, and I then went, oh, man, I totally, basically did what I was, like, didn't want to do, I was, like, ah. Oh. Again, my tie is screwed up. But yeah, I am I was like, oh man, why did I Okay, so I also I had my I had my panel today, which was weird because I was supposed to do it with Shane Moore and then Shane Moore didn't show up until cl almost almost halfway through the time that I was supposed to do it. I th he made some crack about some medication like, "Oh, I just took this." And I swear I thought he said my doll. But I could be wrong, and if I say my doll, it's like, you know, I'm not making, you know, yeah, I, I hmm, he might have said my doll as a joke, but whatever he did say, yeah, I think he said as a joke, he's like, I gotta sleep or something, but you know, I mean, at that point, um, in my, you know, I was like about, I think, 23 three to 30 minutes in and I pretty much talked about all I wanted to talk about collaboration you know why I planned because I felt like it was going to be back and forth between him and and me and um I was like okay and then I basically was since I brought up PMS cop as an example of collaboration he's like touch my nose I'm gonna be scolded by my aunt Paige I just know she's gonna be like that doesn't look professional <laughs> um and probably my hair like this. Well, she might not comment. Other people are like, what's wrong with your hair? Um, but back to, to the panel, you know, I just sort of told the very two cool stories that I'm saving. I'm not going to really go into online. I tell pretty much anybody I do in person about, but these are really, there's really two interesting stories about PMS Cop. One was about the first day I worked on the film, and one was the second to last day I worked on the film. And they're both really interesting, and if, for some reason, cross my fingers, if Brian Blakey decides to do a, a commentary track, and then on top of that, he's nice, he, he'll be like, you know, hey, Rob, do you want to be on the commentary track? You know, I will, I'll, I'll spill those. If, if not, you know... If that doesn't come to pass, if, like, the DVD comes out eventually and there isn't, you know, I'm going to be like, okay, I will, like, do a video in which I will, like, fully detail what I'm alluding to. So back to the panel. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm kind of, like, getting off on this story. And since Shane comes in, like, halfway through, so I'm like, okay, I have to start over again. I'm going to explain what it is because... I go, this is my PMS cop story. And he's like, okay, what? You know, he's like, well, he's like, what? You know, 
so I explained, you know, I worked on this film and blah, 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 and then basically I had to restart from the beginning. And then after that, I was like, and so what do you have to say about collaboration? And he kind of, he took it, and uh, I, I think it, it fit, you know, and um, I, 